Hey, what's going on folks? It's Mike here, and in this lesson in the C++ series, I want to take a little break and just show you something cool that I found. It's a little program that's going to help you explore the C++ reference from your terminal window. So I know not everybody's crazy about the terminal, but every once in a while when you need to use the terminal because you don't have an internet connection, or maybe you just want to grab for something really quick, this can be a helpful tool. So with that, I want to present to you a tool called cppman. I'll show you how to get it set up and how to get running with this really neat trick. All right, let's go ahead and install cppman and get to searching some C++ commands. So very often when I've been programming in the C programming language, I'll just open up the manual pages and quickly look at a command like fopen so I can see the name of the command, the synopsis of how to include it, and the arguments. And then, of course, I can read from a reliable source here the actual functioning of this particular function. Now, oftentimes if I'm on a train or airport or whatever, I don't have access to this nice resource here called CPP reference. And I don't have access to be able to look through some of the data structures like things like array, for instance, if I want to remember all the different commands and operations and see examples and so on. So when my internet connection is bad or I just don't have access, I bring to you CPP man. Now this is a tool that's made by this user here so you can search for the repository. That's a helpful tool for bringing you the C++ commands in a manual page here. So I can just type man and then the associated C++ data structure or function. So with that said, let's go ahead and get this installed. And you can go ahead and scroll through here and see the different ways that you can install. I'm going to install for Linux so I can just use this command here to use my package manager to install CPP man. Just go ahead and type this in here, and I'll go ahead and let that run. Now, if you're on Mac, you can run this with brew. If you're on a Windows system, I'd recommend installing the Windows subsystem for Linux, installing Ubuntu, and then just running this command as well. You can go ahead and see some of the other FAQs here. Now, let's go ahead and try out this command here to see how it works. So, cpp, and then I'll hit m, a tab here for the manual page, and let's just go ahead and type in vector. And lo and behold, we get vector here. So I'll go ahead and extend it out so it's formatted properly. I'll see what library I have here, a brief synopsis, and the different things that I can do here. And I can also do other things here, for instance, like change the source for where I get this information from. Because again, notice if I run this, this is going to be grabbing information from one of two websites, which was a little bit of a subtle point here at the top, c++.com or CPP reference. Now, since I prefer CPP reference, I'm going to go ahead and change the source here. So let's just go ahead and see how we do that. If I look at the help, I can change the source here. And I'm going to go ahead and change it to cppreference.com. So CPP man, change the source, cppreference.com. And this will just take it maybe a moment to rebuild the index, but let's go ahead and run CPP man. I'll run vector again. And now I get the source from the CPP reference. You can tell that this one is a little bit more in depth here, and we go on and on and on. And I can search for you know different things here, like the pushback function or maybe things that I want to uh, remember. And it's got the examples here, so oftentimes I'll just search for example, for instance, so I can find a quick look at that command here. Let's see what else I have in cppn. If I go ahead and look at the uh, help page here, and I can do different things like select different pages, search, and so on. Let me go ahead and try cppman with some man commands I remember, like dash k, which allows me to search through uh, different pages, for instance. And let's just go ahead and look for vector again. Well, this time I don't have a particular uh, dash k option. So that is something that is missing here. But let's see what else I have in CPP man. And I'll just go ahead and run with dash h. And let's go ahead and see if I can search for commands because maybe I don't remember something. So dash k didn't work, but this looks pretty useful, dash f for a keyword. And let's go ahead and see if that works. So let's try vector. And we can see all the different vector things that are available. So these are the pages. And let's just pick one of these here. And go ahead to do cpp man. I'll paste that in. 
And let's see if we get the associated page, which we do here. So that's pretty neat here and just a way to find interesting things here. So maybe we want to find something like an array command. Again, there's all different sorts of things here. And again, I just think this is a really, really cool uh, plugin here for finding information quickly. All right, so that's CPP man. I think anybody who's used to using the terminal should install this if for at the very least to have access when their internet connection is down. So for instance, I'm going to go ahead and turn my Wi-Fi off here just to go ahead and show CPP man. And let's go ahead and look for something interesting like set. And again, we can see that this is running without Wi-Fi. All right, so that's all folks, and I hope this has been useful and given you some value about the CPP man tool.